these problems with the NHS and with the negative changes that have happened, the professions largely have been complicit in this, even if they're not intentionally wanting these things to happen. What will it take for doctors, other professions to emerge who really want that kind of continuity of relationship with um, people um, who, want, who really value the pastoral side of healthcare? What will it take for professions to emerge and the professionals to emerge to want the kind of pastoral healthcare that you've described? What we need to do to undo some of the damage that we've wrought upon ourselves and to reclaim some of the blessings that we used to have is to understand how pastoral healthcare is different from um, curative healthcare that depends on health uh, on high technology. To understand the difference of that in kind, and also to recognise that it requires a different kind of fuel, different kind of human fuel, and how it leads to different kind of results and gratifications, and that requires a different kind of language. It's a non-technical language. It's more of a human language. And while I'm talking about that, it's noteworthy that if we look at any of the specialist journals, they are much more um, technological in their language than they used to be, say, 30 or 40 years ago. That what's happened is that in recent years, recent decades, we have limited our intelligence our interest and our language to become more and more technical. We've got to undo some of that and reintroduce the human, and I would say the philosophical, which is trying to understand meaning. And we can't do that with technology alone or even money alone.